Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC. Uh, I just did a video on this little thing right here. And, uh, today I'm gonna do a video on this absolute monstrosity. This was sent to me by Ed Durbin, by way of Barry? Something like that? I don't know, hence why it's got this nonsense, the dingleberry on it. I hate dingleberries, but I'm leaving it in honor of, of Edward. Um... This is nuts, and uh, I kind of love it. So let's get into it, together, right now. That's right, a Microtech. Oh, a Microtech. I gotta tell you, the last Microtech I reviewed on this channel was the MSI. I bought it with my own money. I paid full price. Wasn't in love with it. Way too big for me. Uh, terrible lock stick. Lapsadaisical garbage doo-doo detent. It was just not a great knife. I liked the way it looked. I liked the idea of it. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but I wasn't in love with the knife and the execution. Apparently they've gotten better, because this right here is the, uh, the Amphibian. Uh, classic design. They brought her back, put that new locking mechanism in there, uh, kind of their answer to the Axis lock. But we have a single coil spring. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. See that coil spring right there? So, it is better, in a lot of ways. It is better. I also like the rectangular grippy boys. So much easier to get a hold of than the little smooth plugs that, like, Benchmade uses. Uh, we do have... This is... There's a bunch of different versions. Aluminum, titanium, uh, G10, FRN. I believe this is the G10 version. Got that, that texturing all over it. Texturing abounds. Mounds of hardware on this, just like the MSI, which I'm not a huge fan of. I, I just don't... It's a lot of screws, dude. That's a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Microtech. It's too damn many screws, man. Uh, the pivot's like a T20 or some shit. It's a huge pivot. Uh, titanium backspacer, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all stainless. But, uh, yeah, it's a monster, dude. A uh, size comparison, PM2. We got about an inch... We got about an inch plus on the PM2, and we've got... I put the wrong knife in the center of the frame. There's the PM2. There's the pair three. Uh, yeah. You know? It's it's huge. It's big old, big old freaking folding sword. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's pop her open. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> There you go! Uh, Blade on this is that M390MK Microtech Special Fancy uh, M390. It's M390. Uh, <laughs> they just added a couple letters. Uh, we do have the coated blade, that two-tone coated blade. They have a, a, a million different options on this. Texturing, texturing, texturing everywhere. Texturing on the handles, texturing on the freaking pocket clip, for Christ's sake. I, you know, Microtech goes hard. They go all the way. Kinky. Um, what we have here is a flat ground... Drop point, recurve, recurve drop point with an absurd swedge that's like a half an inch thick. It's crazy. Relatively thin blade stock for as monstrous, for, for as massive as this is. English is hard. Shut up. Um, I do like the way they did the thumb plug triangle things where the thumb studs usually go. We're going to call them studs, but they're like weird thumb teardrops. It's interesting. It's interesting. Uh, I got to tell you, in pictures, wasn't a big fan of this, but uh, in person and in hand i kind of love it ergo's on this guy oh i gotta give you an open size comparison so you really understand so you really appreciate so you can really understand yeah dude i mean <laughs> like a pm2 is about as big as i'll walk around town with this is as big as i'll go pair three is what i'm usually carrying look at this look at it what is it? It, it two inches longer than the pm2 two and a half three inches longer than the pair three it's stupid and yet I don't like it. I don't like it. Now then, Ergo's on this guy. Uh, choke back. Way back. Yeah, of course. Four finger grip. If you have the hands of an absolute Goliath, you, you might need the lanyard. I don't know why you would need a lanyard on something this big. You insane person, Edward. But yeah, choke back. For sure. For sure, dude. It's comfortable too. It's really nice. Nice texturing on that G10. It feels good. I got no issues. Uh, put my hand where it's supposed to be. Look at all this. Look at all of it. 
But that feels good. Nice little thumb ramp right here with some texturing. Like, I'm locked in. I'm ready to do some work. I'm ready to hack down some trees, dude. You know? Slash mine enemies in twine. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready. I'm ready for business. Yeah, it feels good. We don't... We kind of have a choil area. You can choke up right about here comfortably. And that, honestly, that feels really good. I, you know, that feels good. It's like a sharpening choil. It's not one big choil, but this whole area is very comfortable and feels very safe for my little fingies. So that feels good. Yeah, it's 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 made for destruction. Pinch grip, believe it or not, it's it's an all day. It's well balanced. Uh it's very comfortable. I got I got plenty of room for my little fingers. Uh yeah. The last knife in the universe I expected to give a pinch grip all day, but well done Microtech. I guess, you know. Yeah, Ergo's or believe it or not, kind of dynamite. Like there it's it's really comfortable in the hand, even though it's huge. It's way more comfortable. The MSI was more boxy, more blocky design, and it wasn't all that comfortable. This got nice ergonomic lines, subtle contouring, the texturing, it all just it works. Ah, it works. Um now then, lockups obviously solid, but action on bearings, future me, yeah, on bearings is uh terrifying. So the detent's better. The thumb studs are much easier to deploy. The MSI had the flicking hole, and my, my hands just weren't big enough. But with this and those thumb teardrop pyramid things, yeah. Yeah, dude. It's still a mooshy detent, you know? And it's still big and awkward and uncomfortable, and it kind of hurts my wrist. But it's so much easier to actuate for me than the MSI. I know a lot of people that have giant hands that love the MSI. For smaller hands, believe it or not, the solution is to go bigger. Go with the studs. They kind of work. They're just easier no matter where your hand lands to pop right open. They just work. Reverse flick is tougher than the thumb flick. But I'll be damned, dude. Like, it just, it works. It's much easier for me to close this. There's no lock stick on this one. Uh, really easy to grab a hold of those, the, the locking the sliders thingies. I don't know. What, the, what are they called? I don't know. Don't talk to me. It just, it's better. It's just better execution all the way around. Now, I don't know if that comes from the fact that they've just gotten better at this whole thing since the first batch of the MSIs came out, which is what I bought. This is excellent. Uh, it really is. It, <laughs> it really is. Is it beautiful? No, it's, it's pretty hideous. It's a face only a mother could love. Functionally, though, like, I have very few notes. A smaller version would be better, obviously. <laughs> But it's great. Acoustics are pretty good, too. Very loud. Very thawky and thwacky. Like, it slams shut. Because there's a ton of blade. Absolute guillotine, by the way. Buttery smooth. Like, no no complaints, action-wise. Um, it's dumb. And yet, I it is my favorite one yet. I did play with a Stitch recently, River's Edge Cutlery. I still like this better. Um, the thumb studs are such a difference maker, somehow, some way. They just work better with this locking mechanism and with a knife of this size. It just works better. I don't know what else to say. Um, so there's that. Until they give me a mini MSI and a mini stitch, this is my pick in the whole lineup, which I never thought I'd say because I like the way the MSI looks a lot better and I sure as shit love the way the stitch looks. I think this is atrocious. It's a sin against God. But... It's the best one. There I said it. There I said it. You made me say it. It's the best one. It really is. We do have to cut something. Flat ground, recurve, drop point. You know, we're going to cut some. We're cut some real quick. Yeah. Cut's great. Um, Yeah, no, no issues here. No issues at all. It's a freaking sword cut way out here at the tip. Cut here close to the pivot. Yeah, dude, you know. There is something satisfying about having this much blade <laughs> at your disposal. Whoops, sorry. Feels nice. If I feel powerful. You've given me too much power. Now I must destroy mine enemies with mine folding short sword. You know, price-wise, build quality-wise, all American-made. I, dude, I, 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 I like it. Like I said, it's the best one. It's the best one. Now, if they give me miniature versions, that might change. But until then, this is the best one. Fight me in the comments. But that is it. I will link this down below. Grab up yourself. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Barry, for letting me check this out. You're welcome. You finally got your video. You can leave me alone now. Um, I'm going to chop up some tree branches with this later today. I think that'll be fun.
Will I film it? Probably not. I get really excited when I do stuff like that, even though it would make a good video. I get I get kind of jazzed, and I'm like, nah, I'm just going to do it. I don't want to film it. That's dumb. Links down below. Grab them for yourself. Highly recommendable. Uh, relatively affordable. All American made. And it's kind of stupid. Your friends will get a laugh out of it. But that is it. Like the video, comment, subscribe, become a channel member, Patreon member. Hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and threads. I'm out there. But that is it. I will see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.